YouTube. It's your boy Dion McCauley comes with the Dion back with another banger video. And in this video, as you can see, we will be doing a digitized picture. Um, I know everyone requested it. I just found out that with my video editing software that I can screen record. So sorry, guys. Um, I'm not too familiar with the software. I just actually just Googled it and it said that I could screen record. So let's go ahead and start with that. So this is, like I said, the software that I do use, which is the PE Design 10 software. Um, so as you can see, all the stuff up here as far as the images and different stuff that you could choose from the stitch types and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to do something simple. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open my images from the file, as you can see, and just try to pick something like this. I'm going to go with this. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start to digitize this. I'm going to keep it at this size. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to just keep it at this size. So it'll be, I guess, more reasonable. So depending on what you want to start with first, and, and if you are making this a patch, so basically you'll start with, how do I want to put it? You'll start with your inside first. So of course you see it's all white. So with me, go ahead and find the circle, turn this off. I'm not going to use a border for that and make this white. So let's get a close up on that. So I just, let me see. I might want to zoom in just a little bit more. So I'm going to start here. And what I'm going to do is bag out, try to pick a good point and just drag it. Um, okay, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. I'm gonna bag it out some more so that you can see everything. Okay, so just to get this full circle, go ahead and go back to shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to shapes. As you can see the shapes, and it's already a circle image. So instead of me having to digitize it piece by piece, I can just go ahead and grab this rectangle circle and rectangular circle, sorry. Grab that and just start from whatever point you want to start from. And also hold shift. Once you hold shift, it will change as far as the size. Or if you just do a regular like this, then you can stretch it how you want it. But preferably, I'd rather just hold the shift button when doing it. So let's redo that again. size so that should be the perfect size let's move it over and see stretch it a little okay stretch there we, come on perfect okay perfect so that's going to be white so what I am going to do is go ahead and just change the color to white real quick and let's see and I'm going to hide this. And that's what the I is for, to show the stitch object. So once I click it, it will hide the image. Perfect. So now we're going to start with the stars. So let's go back up to home screen, go to shapes. And they do, let's see if they have that star up here. This kind of looks like it, but not really. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just draw the my own star um, and digitize that without having to use one of the shapes. So let's grab an outline. Um, it is a point, so I'm going to start with the point. I'll change that color to yellow. And let's start with this image. Um, usually some people, um, I haven't really been in tune with doing it unless it's really really needed some people usually before it even come on the screen they usually go and like vectorize the image to make it like really clear just so they can see as far as the um, the picture um, 
so that'll actually help out way better instead of like seeing all of these blurry lines but personally it's just a tutorial small tutorial so it's nothing major so let's go ahead and you know what you can use either X or Z that's to change the shape so X would be the curve as you can see and Z is a straight stitch if you didn't know that so so I'm gonna go ahead and use the curve for now and probably zoom in a little bit more just to try to get the whole um, object go ahead and click that and then I will turn it to a straight because of the point just a little bit then turn it back to a curve if you guys just caught that and girls whoever is watching yep so like I said once again sorry for the inconvenience um like I said I didn't even know I can screen share um so hopefully I didn't upset too many people <laughs> so it's okay so get the curve there and then I mean straight there and then go back to a curve like I said curve is X and Z is for the straight stitch and this is a field stitch I don't like how that look Okay, so hit it with the straight there. Yeah, it's a little off. Straight curve. So this takes practice and some getting used to. Um, this isn't something you just learn once again. Um, I know someone asked about it again. Uh, you know, how did I learn to do this? But this isn't something you learn in just a day or two. Um, it takes time so and I will hold on let me see if I can get close enough perfect and try to cap it off with a straight stitch not the best but it'll do for now so with that being said what I would do is with that image itself for me, it looks like these are all the same. So instead of trying to do the same step that I did before, what I'll do is this. Click it, right click, and then go to duplicate. So now I'll just line it up with one of these and just change the color. It saves you time, so and do the same for the next one right click it duplicate go down line it up and just change the color um, I don't know I guess that's close enough alright so now that's together so from there what I would do is I will go back and I will make this visible again now from there it all depends on how you really want to do it but just from there just to see is everything fitting in place zoom in um, is everything lined up to your liking um, also too I know someone asked about uh, about the color I want to say it was the color, uh, the co color order, and like I said, with the color order, the thing about that is you just have to have or know which color you want to go first and last, second, third, and fourth, and so on, so on. So with that, it's nothing you know fancy or nothing like that. It just depends on which color you want to go. Usually, if you have them all the same color, I know it's it's going to be difficult. It's going to look out of whack. 
So you definitely want to make sure that whatever you do want to go in that second position or third position, you have to make sure that everything is lined up proportionally, basically, and lined up in the correct order. Because if not, then yes, it will come out disfigured. It will come out not stitched out right, or you'll have some overlapping stitches. So definitely everything has to be in order, in the correct order at that. So how I got it now, I think it's cool. Um, I think it's good. So from there, now, let's see. So what I'm going to do is select all of these and then hide them real quick. So now either... Real quick, so now either I can go ahead and just do the same process with this outline or give you something even better. Watch this. So go to shapes, go to circle, go to it's like a grayish color. So from there, let's go back up, back up. All right. So I will start from the top, and then go down, about right there, hold shift, and then drag sideways. Sorry if, let's see, if I lined that up right. Let's try it again. I had to take it off. I don't think I lined it up right because I moved it. Okay. All right, so grab that. Just try to line it up a little bit just to see if it's about the same height. Just a little bit. I'm going to just bump it down a little. Eh, not too bad. So now what I am going to do is take the first one. No, I'm going to take the, um, sorry, I'm going to take the last one and put it on top of the first one so that that will come first then the white will come second now from there like i said either you could have traced the whole image the circle or they have something called sorry it is called modify overlap so with the modify overlap is able to let you basically remove anything that's in the area of the place you want to insert like another picture or another design or shape. So what you would do is how I have it highlighted, you have to have the image you want modified first, then hold the control key, click the background image that you want to be modified on. Then once you click the modify overlap, it'll show you either you can merge them and connect them two together or you can remove the overlap. So now once you click remove overlap, you will see over here that it's a hole in the middle now. So now what I would do is this, click it and move it out the way and look what happened. You created your border outline that you would have created if you would have just did it manually with the stitch how I made the um, the stars but now you just created this image without even having to do the other work now some may say that looked it harder some may say it's easier to me it's easier so that's how I usually do my images with the holes in the middle so what I am going to do is go back so that looks good for the most part so let's see let's click right click everything and you can go to select all and then just sh just show it and see how everything looks so far not bad doesn't look too bad looks good all right now from there now the stillers personally all right let's well real quick let's select everything and then hide it all so the last thing we got to do is stillers now me personally it's going to be so hard to try to trace all of this and get this perfect and all that. So with that being said, this is why you got the text tool. So now with the text tool, click that. Um, it's kind of debatable on whether to use. These are the small text. This is just the regular text and these are monograms. So just go to the small text. 
Um, we'll just use the text that they have here. Yeah, that looks okay, I guess. So let's go ahead and put that in. Stillers. All right. So from there, um, of course, it got to be shrunk a little. And I'm going to hold shift and drag. Move it over some. And hold shift and drag again. Just to try to line it up as best as I can. No, it's not going to be perfect. I know it's not the same font. But, hey, you got to try, right? So, just trying to just, you know, just get a... Just, let me see. Trying to line some things up, man. And, okay. It's not looking bad. Oops. Sorry. Just trying to line some stuff up. Um, let's see. This is probably the closest I can get it because this is not the same font. I really just used whatever I saw with the first font. I just went ahead and went with that. So, um, let's see. Um, I could have actually just went through this X. No, that's not it. But like I said, I could have actually just went through all of the different fonts, but it's so many. Um, that'll take a while to actually try to line it up. Unless the person that I was making this for really wanted it to be exactly like that, then yes, I would look for it. But this is just a tutorial video, so. Yeah, it's probably the best I'm going to get it right there. So, nonetheless, um, so so now we have that so what I'll do is just go back like I said right click select all and then click the eye just to show everything just to see how it look and hey I, I don't think it's too bad it looks okay to me um, and I'll even let's see just try I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger just because All right, and just move it a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, of course, but hey, it looks good for the most part. And that actually looks good. And also, if I wanted to just to uh, actually just put another border on the other side of it, I would just click the outer border, the one that has the hole, go up to shapes, and then your not sewn line, you will just either click the, you will click the zigzag, not either. Um, this is the run stitch just in case you might want to use um, something like a felt or anything so you will hit a run stitch and um, and that would just be the outline you'll see the line as you can see right there you'll see just the line and that'll be for your border stitch if you want to cut anything I mean that would be for your cut stitch sorry about that so now for the border you would use a zigzag stitch you could probably see how thin it is so you'll go over here to your sewing attributes and bump it up um, depending on what you want to use I like between 14 and 15 so that's a, about where I like it at that's a good um, border stretch especially for a patch so yep you will do all of that and you will take the under sewing out because if not I'll show you guys um, Go over here and select the object, and that's a right click. You click it, then right click and select the object. It's going to pick the whole thing. Um, but as you can see right here, I'm going to turn the under stitch, under sewing back on real quick. So as you can see, it, this is just the border that's sewing out. Sorry, it kind of went fast, but let me reset that. Okay. So 
sorry. I'm trying to. Okay. I forgot what I was doing. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So now, I just wanted to make it bigger so you can see it. So now, when doing this, you can honestly see where it's stitching out. This this is the under sew, the under stitch, or the under sewing right here. And with that, that's good for a field stitch. So it can close up in gaps, so you won't see a lot of gaps in between the stitches and stuff like that. That's a perfect setting to have it on, which is the under sewing. But with a satin stitch, it's already overlapping, so it's going to cover mostly everything that you need it to be covered. So that's why you really do not want to have that under sewing. Um, and it's already a thicker border too, so you can see it without, I mean, it's just more cleaner and better. So, take that off, hold on, the undersoin off, and just play it again. I'm going to speed it up real quick. So this is how it looks without the under so like I said it looks way better and more clean um, because sometimes what will happen and that's dependent on your settings as far as density um, as far as also pool compensation what will happen is when you do do that border let me just try to skip to the end if I can let me pause it and just try to skip it So when you do that border and it has that under sewing stitch, what tends to happen is that it might shift. So when it shifts, you'll be left with a line. Sorry. You'll be left with a black line. And you don't want that black line, of course. Hold on. Okay. So everything is still there. So like I said, for the most part, um, just doing this, it all depends on your, um, it all just depends on how you digitize your image. So like this isn't too bad. So we can just real quick uh, bag out and just see how it looks as far as the final result. And real quick, what I am going to do is I'm going to delete the image because everything is stitched out now. So go ahead over to the screen like I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and right click it modify image and it's just gonna select the background image and then I'm gonna delete it great so now that's deleted um, okay alright so go ahead and Press play just to play out the whole image just to see how everything looks. It's not bad. It didn't come out bad. It looks good actually. So, so this would be a nice patch to do. Um, as I said before, um, this. It's, it's all about digitizing. How do you digitize it to make your patches come out the best or, you know, the best you want it to come out? You know what I mean? So it's a lot to do with the program. I know a lot of people ask me, why isn't mine coming out like that? Or mine don't look like how yours look, but it's all about the program and how you digitize. So I know a lot of people wanted me to make a video. And, hey, hopefully I help people out. Um with the video hopefully um, I satisfied some people and, and, and you learn something from it so um, and also if you want to save your image also just you either control s or just press the save and it'll save all of your images there um, you just name the file and you'll be able to save it there so real quick though I do want to say something about your entry and exit points now, I don't know if you guys just saw how the white stitched out. So what I am going to do is click the white background. Go back. And press play. 
So do you guys just see how it started stitching here? Then it stopped, moved back to the top and started back stitching. That all has to do with your exit and entry. Um, so what I like to do is put everything on one side. Now it may not work for everybody, but how I like to do it is put everything on one side. So what I am gonna do is hide everything. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So we'll go back. Um, so I'm just select all and then hold control and not select that and then click the eye. All right, so like I said, what I like to do, as you can see that stopping point. So I wanna make sure everything is shifted to one side. Let me see. So, and it also depends on your stitch directions as well. Um, so I'll probably change it to zero. So now all the stitches are going sideways. So if I start from here, this would be a perfect point to start at because now everything will start at the top and then make its way back to the bottom. So it's going to start at the top, go to, sorry about that. It's going to start at the bottom. Then it's going to rotate to go to the top to start the stitching. Then it's going to finish at the bottom. So it's going to start at the bottom, go to the top to do the stitches, and then it's going to feel and then start and finish right back at the bottom. So that's how I usually like to set up my stitches as well. I mean, certain images and stuff is different where you have no choice to leave it at certain points. But for the most part, if it's something simple as a circle, a triangle, a square, or, you know what I mean? You just start from that point and end at that point. So, But like I said, guys, once again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that everything... You know what I mean? Uh, made sense that I said. I pray and hope that everything made sense because then you watched it for no reason, right? <laughs> so hopefully everything made sense. Hopefully um, you learned something from the video. Um, I didn't go in full, full depth, uh, but that was just the most that I could give or as far as the example of the picture. So like I said, hopefully um, you learned something. Hopefully you got something out of the video. So for the most part, I thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you guys for the support. And, you know, we're going to close the video off here. So, once again, it's your boy Dion with Quality Custom Designs. And as always, stay blessed and continue to strive for greatness. And I'm out, guys. Mm -hmm.